Good day and happy freaking Friday, everybody. Welcome back to the Dirty Pat Walsh channel on YouTube with me, your host, Dirty Pat Walsh. So I found some old buttons, some old band buttons and stuff. Show, show them off to you. Um, this isn't by no means a, co a complete collection of uh, the, the band, the buttons of stuff I was doing, but it puts a good dent in it, and it shows some of the stuff my friends were doing as well. Um, now, to go way back in history, this is a wine with everything button. Um, yeah, we just, we found a bunch of these uh, plain white uh Badge, big badges, and so we just took nail polish and wrote wine on them. Um, now, of course, the it hangs like this. <laughs> we were drunk when we did it. Anyway, old wine with everything button. I got a bunch of these. Um, the, the Silver Hearts had a number of buttons. Uh, they were now this one was the fanciest one, but. Most of them, most of them kind of had a look like, you know, like kind of like, the, this is a Hunter, Hunter Street Hunter button, and now this is the Silver Hearts button I'm talking about uh, here, but like, that's all fancy with red and silver. Usually these were black on a background that color, so old Silver Hearts button. So, yeah, and these, only a few of these ones were made, so I feel lucky. This is the only one I have. I can't believe it. Um, Hunter Street Hummer was a fanzine that me and my ex-wife and two of my old friends used to publish about stuff and going on in town. Had a nude centerfold every month. It was crazy. It was fun, fun fanzine. Um, Hummer is a slang term. I don't know about where you live, but here it's a slang term for a blowjob. Um, or, you know, oral sex. Um, so we made pins, of course. That's why we call it the Hunter Street Hummer, because it was just appropriate. Um, ask me, ask me for a Hummer. <laughs> That's what it is, yeah. Um, what else do we got here? The classic diplomats badge. This was, this was our, this was classic diplomats badge. This is the one that we had for the majority of the time we were around. And I, I think this is a pretty badass looking badge. Um, and these other ones, I thought I'd run out of them. But uh, I, I found a couple of them. I found a few of them, actually. Uh, they all have different fonts. Um, this one has the diplomats and, like, lowercase typewriter letters. All that brown is, like, rust from time. But it's actually kind of turned out, like, to be kind of a cool, a cool background, you know. It used to just be a white background. Um... And this one here, the uh, the diplomats in another font, all capitals, kind of weird looking letters. I like this one a lot. I might put that on this jacket actually. Um, my solo band was called Patrick Walsh and the Stars of Excellence, not because we were full of ourselves, but because the Stars of Excellence is a award system on whiskey bottles for like Jim Jim Beam or Jack Daniels or something like that so we stole Charlie Glasspool a piano player he uh, wanted to call the band the stars of excellence so that's not there it doesn't have a, a badge back so um this is a this is a button for the spill Whereas this is a venue that doesn't exist anymore. We all used to play at. It was great. I miss the spell. We all miss the spell. One of the things that made Peterborough cool. Um, let's see here. 
Oh, this is uh, this is my friend Tom, uh, Tom the trombone player from the Silverhearts. He also had a heavy metal kind of, well, he, I don't know what he called it. It was humorous, um, heavy metal called Hot Piss. And a uh, great name for a band, Hot Piss. But, uh, yeah, that's their badge. <laughs> um... I have an original B.A. Johnson button. Uh, B.A. Johnson says, fuck love. B.A. Johnson's a national superstar now. So, this is an OG piece of merch. Um, and, and this is the coolest one. I love this. This is a bootleg Silverhearts button. A fan made this. And we found it in a, some clothing store in town. And uh, bought it for a dollar. <laughs> the Silver Hearts love you. How about that, eh? Bootleg merch. But uh, yeah, so those are the, those are the buttons I found uh, the other day when I was looking for my buttons. Some some of these I thought I like that the diplomats badge. Um, the, the one with the browns, the one that was kind of like this with the typewriter lettering. Um, I think I gave Hillary one of those, and I, I told her that it was the last one that uh, we had, or that I had, but so sorry about that. I had actually had one more. I actually had one more. What's going on in this jacket? How about that? Repping my old my old band from the turn of the century. Alright. I just want to share that all with you people. Um the the harmonica I'm playing at the beginning of this video is this uh M Honer polyphonia and uh it's it's a whole tone chromatic instrument, the polyphonia number five. Um, looks like looks like this. Got all the all the chords or notes or whatever it is. There, good solid construction. This is an old instrument. It plays really well. Uh, wooden body um, in great shape for an old wooden body um, and uh, yeah there's the, there's the back of it polyphonia I love this instrument I love it um, alright people be well stay free have an awesome Friday and uh, happy freaking Friday. Bye now.